Hey guys, my name is Sean, and this is my Hackintosh that I built in early 2020. And so I built this in March or April of 2020. Um, I just wanted to do kind of a re review. It's been almost a year, and I kind of want to get my feedback on uh, on how it's been since I've built this machine. This is built off of the NZXT H1 case, and so uh, this case was super easy to build. I recommend it for anybody who's kind of just starting out. Uh, cable management and all that stuff is super easy uh, but overall it, it's been a great machine so far so the only issue I've had so far and this is based on anybody who's kind of built on this board is that when it does go to sleep it doesn't wake back up and so that's the one thing that I haven't been able to get up and running and for me that's not a not a super big deal I mean I've had zero issues so far performance is uh, crazy because I, I'm comparing it to uh, the MacBook Pro 2019 i7 and so so right before I built my own machine I actually went out and bought a laptop very similar to this one this is my work laptop but I bought a very similar uh, laptop and it was roughly about three thousand uh, dollars 16 inch MacBook Pro and it, it it couldn't keep up with some of the stuff that I was kind of doing with editing uh, and, and for me I'm not doing anything crazy uh, just some 4k videos off my GoPro of the family and stuff like that and so when you start to put videos on top of each other and the videos could get kind of lengthy uh, it, it does slow down and so it, it wasn't able to handle it and then uh, I did some Tesla videos where I was trying to uh, just stabilize the shot and anytime I would try to stabilize the shot like uh, it would use up all CPU and it would just kind of the fans would kick on and it would start to go crazy right and so that, that's why I didn't buy one just for editing and so I built this and so far it's been great so far. I haven't had any issues. I've been using this as my primary machine for a long time now, uh, nine, 10 months now. Uh, I do have a work laptop, but this is strictly for work. And so uh, on the work laptop, even at 16 gigs, you know, sometimes you open a lot of tabs, a lot of apps or uh, are SaaS or website based now. And so like you, you open up a lot of Chrome tabs and it just eats up a lot of memory. Um, and so that, that one's only got 16 gigs. The laptop is good for what it what it's used for, but it, it, it's not really great for any sort of heavy, and I'm not even a pro user, just it's not even good for uh, video editing, or right, right? When you start to put a, a couple 4K videos together that are maybe 10, 15, 20 minutes in length, and you start to kind of put them on top of each other, uh, it, it slows down quite a bit and using it for like video editing and productivity for the last nine months or so. Uh, do I st still enjoy using it? And the, the the answer is yes, because anytime I need to do anything quickly, um, I, I go to my desktop instead. It, it's just much faster uh, when, you, when you sort of, when you edit any sort of video, it, it just goes by super quick. There's no, there's never any sort of lag or anything like that. Even on the work laptop, there's times where like, I'll have, I don't know, I'll have 20, 30, 40 Chrome tabs open and it, it just starts to get slow, right? And then you're running a Zoom and then Zoom, anytime you run a Zoom, it seems like it's so memory intensive uh, that it, you start to hear the fan kick on and stuff like that. And so overall, uh, the laptop is good for what it's used for. For, for me personally, I, I wouldn't do any sort of edits other than like minor edits, I wouldn't do any sort of heavy edits on the laptop. I, I would jump over to the desktop and kind of do it there. And so if we're doing comparison, uh, this year, uh, my wife has had a Mac Air for a while now. Um, my wife has had a Mac Air for maybe five years. And so it's starting to get slow. And uh, I think it was just an excuse for me to buy uh, the new laptop, which is the M1 chip. And so this is the Mac Air. This is the base model one, the $1,000 one. And so I, I tried doing some edits on here. Um, and I, I wouldn't recommend it either. Like, it, it, I, I mean, these are simple edits. Like, we, we took the family out to the snow, shot some videos with the uh, GoPro in 4K at 60. And I was just trying to put some videos on top of each other. And it was lagging and it, it was taking some time to, to kind of go through its process. And so I, I probably did, that video was probably like four or five minutes long, but it, it wasn't, to, to me it wasn't good enough. But for my wife, like she does like some cricket stuff uh, and she does arts and craft and uh, just surfing the internet. And so to, to me that's perfect for like the M1. Um, 
I, I, if you're trying to do much more than that, I, I wouldn't do any sort of productivity on here. Like even it's only got eight gigs of RAM, and so like even if you're uh, using it for work and running some Zoom calls, I, I wouldn't even do that just because I, I feel like that's probably not enough. But um, yeah, so so this one I, I think it's perfect for just surfing the internet, uh, not really doing much YouTube, whatever. Uh, she does a lot of cricket stuff. She does a lot of social media stuff, and so that that's all done here, and that's fine. Uh, but if if you're trying to do more than that. Um, I don't think this is probably the right solution for you. I think if you're trying to do more than that, then you can get a MacBook Pro, not the M1, but probably the i7, i yeah, the i7, i9 one. Personally, I probably wouldn't buy uh, M1 for myself just yet, and I haven't just yet. So this one's for my wife, and she uses it most of the time. That one is purely for work for me. Um, but I'm waiting to see if they do anything with the 12 core or something like that. I, I think once. Once they do come out with something like a 12 core chip for M1, I'm probably gonna sell this. Uh, but uh, in the meantime, uh, I'm gonna keep this, and this is a this is good. Uh, this is a good rig. It, w it, it was about 15 or 1600 dollars for me to build. Um, but until I get something that's like 12 core ish, and I want to go up to 32, there's no like I find myself not using more than 16 gigs of RAM at at any time but I, I want to have that room uh, so at the end of the day if you're looking for performance and you're looking for a machine that's gonna keep up with whatever you want to throw at it uh, I spent fifteen hundred dollars on a machine behind me and I wouldn't um, I wouldn't hesitate to recommend that to anybody I, I think build it uh, I haven't played around with Big Sur yet um, it, when I have some time Probably next month or the month after that, I'll look into upgrading Big Sur. Um, but in the meantime, it, it's stable. And I mean, to, to kind of do the whole Hackintosh thing and make, make sure everything kind of works, it, it, it takes it takes a lot of research, takes a lot of time. Uh, and my work is pretty busy now, so I'm not, I haven't been able to do that. And so it, my system is probably gonna stay this way. If Apple comes out with the M1, M2, or like an M2 chip that's got 12 core or something like that, I'm probably going to sell this and probably jump over to a laptop because what I'm missing now is a lot of times I have to come into this room to do any sort of productivity uh, and sometimes you just want to do minor stuff right you, and I want to be sitting at my laptop and doing it from my laptop in the living room and so for, for now it's good um, but this is my assistant's probably going to stay this way. Uh, do I recommend this? I probably recommend this uh, M1 to anybody who's not a power user um, it, it's good for everyday stuff surfing the internet uh, but it, it's probably not good enough if you're gonna do much more than that I, I think what I have right now with the MacBook Pro this is the i7 uh, that I use for work I, I think that's a good machine that it's a good balance between uh, just keeping up with work and stuff like that uh, there there have been a few times where I've been able to tap out the memory and the fans started kicking on and going going like crazy um, but I mean it's only happened a handful of times that MacBook Pro is a very good machine it's very solid it, it does what I need it to do uh, and that's just to keep up with work and open up crazy amounts of Chrome tabs or Safari tabs and just kind of get my work done that way uh, and so that that's probably that's that's a good machine for now so yeah yeah that's all for this video um, if you have any questions about my Hackintosh or the M1 laptop or the or the MacBook Pro, uh, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to help you in answering your questions to help make your decision on building one or just buying one, building one or buying one to kind of fit your needs. So far I've been using it for almost a year and I'm a big fan of my Hackintosh. I, I don't have any regrets about spending all that time to kind of research and build it. And so if you're into that kind of stuff, I uh, totally recommend just getting into it and building it because from a performance and price perspective, nothing's gonna be able to touch it at, the, at this point. And so nothing that Apple's building today is gonna be able to touch it at this point. Um, so good luck with the build if you have any questions. Feel free to leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching.
in the comments below I'll leave a link to the actual build itself and so you can kind of see uh, what this uh, Hackintosh is composer.